To start creating our dashboard, let's add a chart. To do so, click on Add Item and add a bar chart by dragging and dropping it into the canvas. After the chart is added, you can always change its position by dragging it around by clicking on the arrows icon on the top left corner. Each time you're moving a dashboard element, you will see a helpful grid to assist you in distributing all elements seamlessly. You may also change the size of any element by hovering over an edge or corner and dragging on the handles that pop up. Each time you hover over the chart, you may notice four buttons pop up. These are the data, settings, clone, and the lead buttons for that chart. By clicking on the data icon of a chart, you can see the slots where data can be added on the chart. The add filter button, and you can notice that the sidebar switches to the data options. We can select the logistics dataset we added previously to visualize the distribution of passengers throughout the ships of the dataset. For this, we will drag the vessel's name to the category slot and the passengers to the measure slot. After adding data to a chart, you can open the settings of a data slot by clicking the gear icon next to the slot. These settings will differ depending on the data type. Let's try this for our category slot, which contains hierarchy data. The first thing you will notice is that the concerning data set opens on the right with the use column highlighted. By clicking the info icon in the data slot, you can see the column and data set IDs. Here, you can also change the label displayed in the charts axis. In case you want to use another column for this data slot, you can click the bin icon to delete the current one. You can also change it out by simply dragging a new column on top of the chart slot. Now, let's open the slot settings for the numeric data type we used in the measure slot. There are extra options as you can see, like changing the format of the displayed values and changing the aggregation of your data. If we change the aggregation from sum to average, you can see that the bars adapt immediately. Depending on the chart capabilities, dragging a second column into the measure slot will either give you a chart with multiple measures or change out the previously configured measure with the new one. A bar chart, for example, can have multiple measures, each with their own aggregation defined, while a number widget will always report only on one measure. When you have multiple measures, you can change their order by simply dragging their name on the data slot settings. Notice that you can also set the format of numerical values like we did in the data board, but in this case, the changes will apply only to this specific chart. While the data icon is active, you can find the performance indicator on the top left corner. This is a great tool to know how fast each chart is loading and how much time each step of the generation process is taking, so you can optimize its performance. You may also add charts using our generative AI. To do so, select Add Item and then either the Suggestions or Ask AI tab. In both tabs, you may change which dataset the charts are going to be based on. After it loads, the Suggestion tab will contain a gallery of several chart suggestions, which you may add by clicking on them or dragging them onto the dashboard. After a chart is added, it may be edited as if you had created it from scratch. In the Ask AI tab, you may use natural language to ask for the chart that you need. For example, show me the distribution of passengers group per port.